Hello and welcome back to the SNHU Esports Arena. My name is Sholi, joined here with Kresnik. Hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm still lowercase, actually. Oh. You, it's just not, you know, it doesn't no. make me want to yell. I get like, it. Like, no, I get it. I'm, a, no, that's kind of me, yeah, big, I'm, I'm, I'm excited when I see you when yeah. you see Kresnik. You're like, oh, it's Kresnik. It, it would only look really better cool. if there's like a period after it, like a Kresnik. See, now it's stop. even better, actually. <laughs> Now it's like a cool name. Now, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I you think everyone on my team has lowercase names, but you me. have to have all caps or all lowercase. You're right. There's no in between. And that's why we did it this way. All right. Well, now that we've got our style set up for tonight, uh, we've got four best of ones, or actually three best three of best ones. ones. One yes. of them was forfeited. So yes. game two. Yeah. So we'll have one here, just just about to start in a few minutes, and then we're gonna take a brief intermission, um, yep. and then we'll be back at eight and nine for two more. So we've got three games coming up for it uh we'll be hopping back and forth between teams our first game here will be with valorant yellow yep should be exciting and go into ascent yeah ascent on, on attack and ascent a map that we we always used to talk about it in the back anytime at least new blue went to ascent we were like yeah oh, yeah this, this could be dangerous <laughs> but but Val, Val Yellow is, has generally had it better on Ascent. Yeah. I, I think that, you know, it's in a little bit of a rocky map overall for, for all of the SNOO teams a little bit, but hopefully get to see it a little bit more. I mean, the last time we saw Ascent, we saw last week, um, and it was it was not, a, you know, it was not bad. We didn't end up taking that map, but it was still a good performance. They're definitely a lot better than um, we kind of have been historically. So it's kind of exciting to see these, like, incremental, uh, you know, sort of developing uh, mm -hmm. strategies on this map and seeing our team get better and better at it which is perfect for the preseason now, now's yeah. the time to really get this exactly now's the time the to, to experiment right to kind of yes. mix it up strat wise at least and this is actually yellow's first time at least this semester in the front because blue doesn't have their game at the game two at seven o'clock so throw them in the front let them have that kind of front stage experience yeah i mean it's i i whenever i see teams up on the front it's always kind of funny because there's six computers, and thankfully there's a coach slot up here. But yeah. normally there's one spot that's just open because there's a for the Overwatch players to have a spot mm -hmm. up there as well. It's even worse when the Rocket League team is up there. Oh, yeah. There's three empty yeah. computers. Yeah. Both rosters can play at the same time, actually, for Rocket League. That's true, actually. That's, that's, we should that, really make use of that. We, You know what? I agree with you. And you know what? We don't should talk about it anymore because Rio Grants, New Yellow, we are heading into the first map of the night. And Rio, of course, starting on defense, as we had mentioned before, and... Composition-wise, I mean, Fade, Omen, Jet, KO, and Chamber. I mean, not supposed to. Chamber on likely going to be locked in on both sides here. And actually, full-on mirror match up. The only difference is Jet potentially being hovered at the moment for Rio Grande and uh, Sova versus New Yellow. Yeah, I think it's interesting that, that Rio aren't running the Sova here because, I mean, while, while that was pretty loud. <laughs> 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 well, Sova is typically a staple on this map. He's a staple on a lot of maps. Um, he, he fills a similar role to Fade. Um, mm -hmm. And so it seems like on maps where Sova does really well, it's kind of like, well, why not just have Fade also and then just get, you know, even more intel power here um, where, where you can really just kind of gather a lot more information about the situation. But mm -hmm. uh, Rio, I mean, they're, they're electing to drop. Fade. Um, unfortunately, that of theory isn't... A, a huge requirement here to play. Yeah. Uh, so that's a pretty big thing. I mean, from school, that is kind of a, a stack on this end. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay. Triple initiated. Fade. So by end AO. So a lot of forcing people out of positions, a lot of making the turn. We got like one place and one lands the other. Teach both of them. I'd like to think that this is kind of a heavy setup team for first each other. Maybe they're for Rio Grande, at least direct you know, contact aggression as opposed to forced set up aggression from some yellow. So they are starting to keep it. Something interesting I'm seeing on Snow Yellow looks like they actually might get. Might get dropped from the loading just for a second there. Little little technical difficulty, but something interesting looking at their their you know kind of composition here mm -hmm. is that you know Snoo aren't running any duelists at all. No. Um, and that's kind of you know before Chamber came out, that would be like, well, excuse me, yeah. but <laughs> Chamber kind of fills that role of also being like a very defense heavy you know sentinel kind of character while also being able to do everything a duelist can do as well. Yes. Um, he, he really really just popular agent for that reason. He's almost in every single game that you see. Um. And I think it makes sense for Ascent, where you're really trying to control space for a lot of it. He is essentially, you know, a duelist, a, a that can 
be anywhere, cover multiple sight lines at the same time, as well as gather information. Um, which is, is kind of interesting because this kind of used to be like a, a cipher map for a little bit there. And there, there was some brief time where it was popular. But I feel like, uh, you know, the, the points where the tripwire would actually go to try and pick out the gig, um, that chamber is really good. Oh, the chamber is, I feel like that's probably going to happen the nerves. In some ways, it makes it less percent of that canopy. Which makes this trade park stuff at all. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I don't think so. I'm not entirely sure. I, I believe he is. I think it was just a telephone. Yeah. Uh, which I mean, overall, it had to be a That's a good spot. That's not That's ready. Not ready. already know that they're pretty much in a stack right outside of A, and so they kind of uh, they know they're stacked with too much right soon because they can kill on Benny there on the catwalk, send that frog through. Not going to find the Omen, who's right there, and A are actually able to take down AX. One, one, oh, enemy we're trying to get your ass a well, and somehow none of them are dying super deep. One of them that ends up going down, but SNH2 Yellow just does a fantastic job reaching the Great reaction turning out to find that over. Could have been a lot worse. AF God could have made could have made out like a bandit there, but was not able to find those kills initially. And I want to see what. That worked. That worked. gonna hold on for the headhunter. Makes sense. Your chamber of The name of the game. Right now, they're at a disadvantage anyway. They're kind of already looking to do it. Possible. Uh, the fact that they are missing a few specs is not a huge deal. I'll find you. Find you. <laughs> that prowler. Pick up sight, let's go dealt. Let them know that there is someone in a lobby, so they're going to have to back up. That smoke goes out to delay them even more in there. Pretty, pretty, pretty much stuck here at the moment as Rio Grande start to loop around. They're slowly, you know, just putting a stranglehold on SNHU, who are still at in a lobby, starting to move right out. AS God's in a very, very scary position. I'm not sure if his head is actually peeking up enough for him to be seen before. Bring them down. Uh, 
Essence, they're gonna see all of SNHU yellow starting to move. Knocking them with exercise. Spike down, down, down mid. Shot on Godel, take him down. Spike down. Spike down. Spike out. He's gonna be able to get the Last player, Slayer, Sam. Brain through the smoke. Finds a headshot on Zuka. Finds three kills. That real ground is doing it. That was just so funny. He's got so far in this game in that one round from that spot. Obviously, bonus expected to win that round, but otherwise, looks like actually they did enough damage to force one of them onto a singer. So, gun advantage for SNHU off the performance in that SMG round. So, also kind of pretty to a very good start here. And SNHU and Side, if they do commit that way, that is where the spike is. Ah. Found! They're blind with fear. Yeah, I mean, we could see it. Fine, well, we could have that gun. Get to play with a eco gun. Kind of play for it, almost like a. Uh, uh, spike down, it will be. Both teams losing players here. Here, here. One tap of Benny coming forward here. Last player oh, standing. Oh, they not in the right spot. Good, I was going to find the one tap. Uh, almost takes the fight with like one tap, but now it's just a one versus two. Get back in here. One tap is going to be the only person left to do it. The Vandal, not a horrible weapon for this situation. Still has some cloud bursts, but no dashes. Let's just find one. But we'll not be able to. SPG takes that fight and takes it home. It's new yellow, now three to one. Foresight there, right? Fuck it, that, that way. Knife early, I think, from on the CT side. So, realizing no one's there, turn the gaze, find him on that late rotation. Well done there by SMHU and forced to a. I don't know if it's either. I'm not sure if they're going to do a force body with the stick with what they have here. It looks like your sheriff's on the line for Rio Grande. Oh, they probably did, baby. Play those long sight lines. You want, you want to play? To play? Let's, Let's play. play. What a force is used by Suka once again in mid on those sidelines, and now no one on Rio Grande wants to contest that. A little bit of alert coming in on B side here, but they are just looking to control this space. Most of most of them, you know, Rio are starting to make their way up to a lobby though. They're gonna be able to get back in some really quick kill before they pick up five. Watching their flank is so Without uh, uh, taking a huge risk, I'm you know, yeah. out on top with the blade. Going actually all the way They will know if they do commit to this B main flank, but everyone's flooding from the site. But the spike here hasn't moved up. Alive and the mascot not low. They will make sure the they will get to the site. Spike planted. Now, five. Yeah, they're all pretty entrenched right here. The only person who. One, one enemy remaining. Big shot to wall. Fantastically done. The hold that could have easily gone wrong for them. Whenever you're down there in just the. Really great utility to take advantage of, but fortunately for SMHU, that didn't come out. Yeah, we're able to really play into their gun advantage if they had off of the rift, but we're seeing the first 10 rifle round, I think, of this entire game because of that stinger that they bought before in round number four. So, see how they decide to defend here. It looks like a fairly standard one, kind of a 2 0 3 setup, but. SNHU just peeking mid from a distance while they work up slowly up A main. I think the utility saw much of them. You can tell by no real deep rotates here, but Chamber is getting some great info right now in B main, spotting nobody from SNHU. Can't see the trademark just yet, but when they see this, they'll know that it's going to take some right. Maybe they can get it. If he's slowly going fine, but with two shots missing, Ty knows the third one. And the result in the kill just puts it away. Tries to go around. 
the rest of this, but they're going to go ahead and back out, so I can move over towards mid, where Godell and Suka have secured some serious space here, but they don't know about Bunny, so they can move over in here. We'll be able to be able to kill on Suka. Where are you? Where are you? Bouncing off, going wide, not going to be able to find it. The Prowler also not finding any information there. Bunny's going to be able to cross. In a trapped position right now, he could try and fall back to the smoke, but Fago has a killer angle on him. They gotta worry. Eyeball going out, gonna bounce left. off land right in the middle of here, so the rest of them are just gonna back out, start to move up. Cat, that's some pretty big utility that's gone there from Fago. This made you start to move forward here and through Garden Wait, Tree. A huge here. flashbang comes out, but no peak coming through the nightfall. He's gonna reveal Lime's position. He's gonna get caught out. AS God is able to find one, but gets traded out by Mamra. SNHG starting to move in. They only have 10 left. seconds left. They are going to be able to get this spike down. The rest of the Grande have to try and move in. They don't have super great utility for this retake here. They might have a few Prowlers left over, but this chamber probably doesn't want to spend any, too much of his resources here in this kind of very tight and constrained area. They know that bare minimum there's at least a one I'll up top, you. and now they're going to know where the fade is, courtesy of that haunt coming in. Will they shoot it? Looks like they don't even no need charges. to. It doesn't reveal anybody. Godel still holding close. Could swing. One oh, he's remaining. there. Does get that gunfight. Last it's a one for one. Stand. And it's only player in hell. It's top. Oh! Does find the kill on to Bunny. SNH, you get another one. The first full gun round goes their way. That was fantastically done. Godel sitting in just the perfect spot. Could see when the utility came out. New to peek around. Yep. Be able to spray down that fight. A little scary when he got traded, but fortunately, I believe that was Ty there at the end who was able to hold things together for SNHU, who have now, I mean, they built up a pretty sizable lead here. We'll see how far they roll with it. Again, another save round for Rio Grande. They're going to, I'm trying to see. I just saw Marshall there. Okay, they got rid of it. I was going to say Marshall, probably going to work down mid, but then immediately sacrificed. For the sheriff here, Tour de Force though is used, but not watch it. Watching the angle that SNHU have been contesting though, Suka's gotten quite a few of his picks from the, the, the lobby area over, but not going to see anyone there. And now working mid is still going to be the game plan. The oh. Flash catches Godel out in the open, but it's traded by Suka. Suka trying to push forward here. Control some space is going to get forced back by the haunt. More than willing to take that teleport away, save his life. While the rest of SNHU have already taken control of A site there. There's no reason to fight over Cat. Just let them kind of group up around the outside while we take the site. Try and hold it for as long as possible. That smoke is trying to secure off Heaven. They're committing some more utility to clearing up here. But the rest of Rio Grande, I mean, they're on the southern side of the map right now. They're mostly over in the garden. We're going to have to try and break down this door. Sure, will reveal a lot. And Suka's already made contact with two over here in the A lobby, which is, I mean, they pretty much have eyes on the entire team right now. See them looking to go up top. So they're not ready for the no. up. One tap does find a force attack. Mamra gets that early trade and they find the Prowler, but still the Jet with the Sheriff is able to find the kill tie. Caught out there and it's all down to Peachy in a 1v2. There's the flash out, is able to flash one tap. Not able to find Feyo. Oh, slightly obscured there by the haunt, so it's a little hard to get that target acquisition, but the spike will still detonate. Find Feyo's life as well. And SNHU aren't coming out of that hurting too bad. Just fought just enough time to win that one in the end. And I mean, I was going to say, took all the guns out of their hands, but there was none. That was a, would have been a great thrifty win, honestly, for Rio Grande with what they spent. But SNHU have enough of a stockpile saved up where they can still full buy here and now. They're going to be calling a timeout. Try to figure out what to do here. SNHU seem to just have their number. Yeah, I mean, SNHU right now are playing incredibly consistently. They're making fantastic use of utility there. And what we saw on that last round, I mean, it was an eco round, so not fully representative or indicative of anything in, in these full buy rounds. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it was still a situation where Rio Grande were maybe struggling a little bit to use utility on the retakes. Yes. You know, SNHU seemed to be, you know, using their utility very well to actually get on site, secure the spike, um, get it down where Rio Grande are struggling a little bit, maybe using their utility a little too early to zone them out before they commit to anything. Um, so SNHU doing a fantastic job at actually forcing baiting out that utility early on and then making good on it later yeah a big i think a big part of it is are, are they spending too much early to get information or are they trying to like feel out the map and then when they have to actually reclaim it later it's just not there that could be maybe maybe a miss for rio grande as they're kind of trying to figure out how snhu are approaching it feels like they've been mixing it up most times but i see more mid pressure i feel like that we normally see on this map from both teams i mean we see suka kind of working that angle from b to tree from there, we see, you know, flash plays aggressively from the defenders on mid. We see them kind of working up mid a lot. We saw, saw the 3-2 three, split, three players pushing A main, two players uh, controlling mid from SNHU. And once again, eyes are mid. We have a knife tree, won't find anyone, but that's good information for SNHU. 
I think one of the big things we're seeing here is a little bit of the compositional difference where Sova maybe could be really, really applying a lot of pressure for Rio Grande instead. Um, you know, Fade, who's playing in a map uh, against a Sova and another Fade, is kind of just lacking a little bit in the information gathering and allows Snoo to play very, very far back. Bonnie is going to get caught out there by the Prowler, forced to teleport back. Very scary situation, almost didn't teleport back fast enough, but Ty's starting to make his way up Catwalk. SNHU mostly just gathered around, trying to get some information, trying to figure out where exactly everyone is. But they mostly see, uh, mostly leaning over towards the B side of the map. Yeah, it's kind of stacked between both of the players that won't catch them here. Name bold as knights give none. Both players are stacked up on back flank chamber. And that fate tie catches AS God on the attempted flank. They see one player there. Now the A players are coming over because a lot of noise is coming in. Nightfall from the back. Odell finds him even with one HP. The decay Fagel will be able to get the wall bang there. But Peachy answers right back. And now a two versus three. Retake for them. Flash is going out a little early and they need to get the spike down. Ooh, Rio only with one left. And Mamra coming through is going to finish off the final kill. SNH, you get the plant as well as we approach. You know, kind of getting close, uh, closer to the end of this half. SNHU, I mean, they're guaranteed to come out of this with an advantage. And if they continue to play like they have been, I think they're going to, you know, really, really compound um, their lead here. Rio Grande, I mean, struggling a little bit to actually get their economy together. They will be able to buy some rifles this round, um, but it looks like they're they're going to try and eco buy here. Fago, in particular, is just really, really low on funds. Yeah, so they'll they'll hold on just to make sure they can all buy in the rounds to come. As we are going into the Ninth round, only three left in the half, and probably want to be as well armed as they can for the rest of them. And again, multiple players are looking mid Peachy to try to catch us. And this knife could get them a lot of information. They spend the dash to get away. Re caught tree. They know that they're there, and you can see the immediate reaction. Prowler in B main. They move out this way with the info they have, and as long as they don't get picked off by this chamber, they have great intel here. They force them away as well. Yeah, they got so much there off of that knife, and they're already taken B site. Rio have been forced off and back into their spawn. Like one tap's not going to find anything with that blade storm. Still has three knives left, so still a little bit to work with here. But this team, I mean, they're rocking pistols right now. They're going to have to break down this wall. He's got actually out duels tie there. That's big. It's he might gun. be able to pick up a rifle, get a gun upgrade here. But the rest of SNHU, I mean, they are already in very, very defensive positions here. One gun could be enough, especially if they trade it from one player to the other, If they, as they trade for each other. But we'll see what does happen here with Suka playing in main to crossfire at them. Crossfire their setup. They smoke them off and move in here. Come finds a lot of info, but they spray through the wall. A ton of intel finding them all these kills, and it's only Bunny left standing. That haunt was disastrous for Rio there. Got eyes on all of them and then just sprayed straight through the boathouse. Um, really, really fantastically played. Great use of utility there. That is the kind of things where, you know, I feel like Godel in particular has been getting great usage out of Haunt, whereas we maybe haven't seen exactly the same thing from Rio Grande, which is mm -hmm. their main way to gather intel here. Yeah, none, none, it hasn't really been as effective. I feel like they've just always been ready for it. The one time that we saw it really get effect was the one round they won. The one time it was dropped kind of in front of someone mid-duel, right? Yes. Like literally just Shadows staring just contest. A, but it was more of like a, a vision blocker yeah, than exactly. anything else. Every other initiator gets flash. Yeah. <laughs> Basic. It's basically Maybe a smoke grenade, flash, you know? Like right. Yeah, the right angle. Perfect swing off the prowler. No command. Now comes out as maybe one of the first attacks on it. It looked like the Null Command might have actually cancelled the teleport back. I saw the finger snap go out, but just not quite fast enough. It seemed to be, oh, actually, Fago picking up a nice kill on the, on the Godel there, but Peachy pushing forward. It's going to be able to trade that one right back out. We only have two players left, and AS God continuing to push through. is doing a fantastic job at actually winning these duels. SNHU might want to fall back and play a little bit safe here. It's a three versus two, so nothing is really guaranteed here. Ty is just hungry on the post plants. Like, <laughs> Ty is just roaming every single post plant for this as the flash comes up from Peachy. It is good, but they can't really find much more with it. But KO takes now as they push out for the fight. Peachy still wins it. Whoa! Four. What a round from the KO! Fantastically done there. A little bit of a, a scary position there for Peachy to be in. Once he yeah. threw the flash around the corner, I was like, oh, they know he's there. It's going to be an issue, but. Well, the rest of his team played really well with the utility. We're able to get him in there and allow him to, uh, you know, pick up more of those kills. Excellent trading from the KO. I mean, he's not the first to initiate as probably shouldn't be. 11 and 3 right now, really not getting traded back. There was a there was a small period of time where Peachy was playing with the 
uh, SNH Blue over the summer, and I think all that experience probably carries over here when, when playing with, with Yellow. You want to play, kind of let's how play. Here's Knife spent over there in tree. Don't believe it saw much. They might think it's clear, but immediate from Rio Grande. <laughs> So we Cut. see a very uh, a, a slow round, but Peachy's getting hungry. Peachy's pushing all the way up and seeing nothing. Yeah, a lot of information there actually was given from that haunt. They know that you know, multiple people are in the mid, and they, I mean, right now pushing for Suka, able to get a kill with the Torta Force, catches Bunny out up mid. And now that's a defender down in defender spawn. Hey, They've so taken fair. such a huge point in this map, and the Nightfall coming through from SNHU is going to be able is going to be able uh, to get some information here, but Godel will end up going down for it. Peachy throwing the flashbang out, pushing forward, is able to take down Fago, but Ty goes down in the background. Amra continuing to push forward here, getting into a very, very scary position. But might be able to actually find something here if they don't check this very tight angle. Lime goes down, though, Suka continuing to keep things up, but there's a scary lurker in back in B site here. One tap down in the left. boathouse. They might not be... Ready for someone back there if they don't know. This could be scary. Bomber pushing forward goes down, and Suka with a quick scope is able to avenge. What a shot. Her is going to get the spike down, now has to try and hold the site down completely alone, holding back behind this box. It's not teleporting out, gets caught out, and Suka with a 4K, with a 4K is going to take this round. Just excellent timing. Last I mean, he got the flash, the didn't push off it. I mean, you, you gotta know that they're stunned there, but we can see in the replay quick scope with the Tour de Force, and I want to see this from the Omen's perspective if we can. Where does he throw the flash from? From the other side of Boathouse, then goes in, doesn't see anyone immediately, and must have just must have just thought he was back site, right? Must have just thought yeah. he, was, he was holding back there for it, but Suka really forward thinking, going a little bit ahead, taking the swing off perfect timing. Fake TP, I like the idea behind the fake TP. You know, maybe, oh, now there. looking somewhere else because you he think he's going to be coming from that way. You saw where the paranoia out. came from. But I think it threw the paranoia from a neutral enough position where it could have been either side. Yeah, that fake TP, I mean, he tried to bait him into checking the boathouse there, but Suka just decided to check both of them. Why not? But a huge push coming out. Lime's going to be able to find Down. Mamra. But Peachy stays alive, a survivor, but not for long. Trades out Mamra, but Lime is going to be able to trade it right back. And now Rio have control of the spike over in A lobby. This is all down to Suka and Godel, who are, I mean, Godel a little bit out of position right Last now, has to try and play up through here. With Suka going down, it is just Godel behind enemy lines. They likely don't know he's here, but they're going to find out in a moment. Bunny with great reactions here. Mio Grande finally answer. I mean, it took uh, quite a while. We'll see it on the Switching scoreboard sides. how long it took Trust them me, there, but yeah. it was eight rounds straight do, for SNHU advantage. before they were able to get a response. But it was off a solid set play. I mean, they finally read the A long. I feel like they were kind of bouncing back and forth and trying to match SNHU, and the one time they do it, they, they win the round right off it. And, I mean, right there, it was kind of just a Hail Mary uh, play, right? They, they said, okay, you know, we haven't really rushed this far aggressive in previous rounds. Let's try and catch them off guard, try and play forward. Try and at least get two points in this half, because, you know, coming out of a half, 10-2 is bad, but 11-2 is even worse, that it can so easily snowball away from you. And while this definitely will not be an easy situation. You know, if SNHU take this first round, they're going to be at match point, essentially. And so Rio Grande here. You gotta play very, very safe. Godel spraying through. A lot of shots going right past Mamra's head. Especially, or actually, AS God's head. Godel holding back here as they try and take some forward position here. Suka jump peeking around the corner. He's going to get too much info. Might hear some hard stepping around there, though. Get some great information. They're going to be able to fall back now. Get the headhunter out. Has four shots to work with. Will get silenced. Forced to put it away. That is so, so huge. KO does such a fantastic job at just kind of shutting down Chamber for a minute, but they're not really going to push off of it. They caught his presence there. But SNHU, they're going to get the dark cover from... They they do the that, they get the nothing. SNHU knives after, they see nothing. They know that that must have been a bait uh, of some kind. And Cover they were, they're here to clear mid and push this way. If they go all the way through, though, they will trigger that trademark. That is up. They'll know that it's going to be an attempted A hit late through mid. And Ty might be able to get all the info. Oh! oh! What a shot! Make one tap. Down, gets mid. the other end of the name is PG and Mamra. Both go for their own flanks. 
just coming out and a, a fantastic execution there. Took down three at once. <laughs> Absolutely perfect timing. And Rio, I mean, they don't really have the numbers to take mid anymore. They have to push forward. They have to try and push through. Asuka gets the gate down in time, gets away with his life. And now they have to go through Peachy, who, with the help of Ty, is able to take down Lime. And now with the right click, takes down AS God. Snoo Yellow are in a fantastic spot right now. They're going to be able to play this next round with a gun advantage. Probably force Rio Grande mm -hmm. to force up um I'm, and this is a really really scary scary I mean, spot actual nightmare scenario for yeah Rio Grande, honestly after the i was gonna say before we went in but the round started a little too quick for me to say that they can't lose this pistol i mean they cannot lose that pistol if they if they want to have a solid chance i mean this unless they get a difficult thrifty win here they are going to be on match point there's for the, the force. next 10 rounds yeah there's the force they have to take this have to fight this one tooth and nail. I mean, if they don't win this, they're essentially on the razor's edge for the rest of the game. So why not force up here? Why not try and steal the momentum? And they're coming through. One tap. Already flying out of the site. Go Dell throwing the haunt out. Not going to get too much. Actually, throwing the haunt out now. Doesn't get too much information out of it. Ty's able to take down one tap. But Fago trades it right back out. Rio have successfully taken control of B site here. Trying to push forward here. Godel from the other angle is going to be able to take down Lime. And now it's just the three embedded, entrenched on the site here. Godel rooted for a moment, getting his health back ever so slowly. But we'll be we'll be able to push in now. Not a lot of utility on either side, really. But Mamra pushing the near side out. Godel coming forward, takes down Ascot. Fago trades it right back up. Peachy trying to spray through. Fago goes down. And now Bunny takes the kill, the final kill. Real Grande have successfully come back here. They are going to be able to take some momentum back and rob Snoo Yellow of this second round. Three HP is absurd. I I, I feel like minor utility mishaps there from SNHU. We saw the the KO Molly go into the right in between the doors, but I felt like Iki the Omen still some space. He backed up, but he could still use cover from where they were swinging from. Really just solid performance by Fago. I mean, five Fago in the middle of the site, taking down three. No answer for them at all. And now both teams with... Just head under on one side. It's good weapons here. For Grande as they push into the head under finds one, but a collateral from line to answer. Mamra has to try and push forward here. Snoop Yellow, what, they just don't have the guns to try and fight this. So, so unfortunate. But this is this is the reward that Rio Grande gets. Essentially, they're playing their bonus round now. Um, and, and, you know, they can they can try and really, really build some serious momentum off of this. But Snoop Yellow now, they're going to be able to fully buy up. They're going to be able to get an operator. That's pretty big. Suka has been hitting these shots. He has been on top of it this game. So definitely something to be scared of. Doesn't have a lot of health, though. Going to have to opt for a little bit more of a glass cannon. Yeah, the glass cannon buy has been, I, I mean, even if you just look at pro play recently, light armor has been picked up a lot more often than it had been previously, so definitely some benefit. The op light armor has been one that has been commonly gotten for ready. an eternity at this point, but no one for Suka to duel here in mid as the haunt finds no one in B main. It is a very slow, I, think, I feel like it might be a little oh. bit right after that, but Bunny wins that duel against Suka, and now that was kind of the ace in the hole for SNHU. They have no one watching mid. They have to commit to a side or just solidly hold down one of these sites. Yeah, Rio, if they push up and take that off, that could be very, very bad for SNHU. It's a huge momentum steal. But I love the pace that Rio Grande have been playing here. They've been playing so slow. They've been playing so deliberately in these last two, or in these last three rounds of this half. They've been doing a great job at just controlling the pace of the game. And one tap, popping the dash there, is going to start to move in. Peachy smoked off a little bit by that cloudburst. Rio Grande have taken control of the site, and Snoo Yellow are mostly off-site, they've got to worry about trying to retake from a different angle now. So the knife from them, I believe it caught two up top. You can see Peachy, at the very least, got suppressed in this four versus five. got to assume that someone is hell, and I know that it is both of them, but then there's someone... Ooh! That was scary. A little, bit of, a little bit of poke damage to do that. They'll drop the knife there. As soon as it regens, finds three, and the flash out could be the opening they need. Jumping down, Peachy finds one, Ty finds another, just the last two underneath. A.S. God finds one, but it goes down, and now Fago, the last one in the corner, Ty trades it out. It's going to be able to defuse this spike and bring things to a match point for SNHU. And that was a, a hard stack for Rio Grande. You could see all of them hugging in that one corner, and because of them both swinging out at the same time, you just... They all tried to Match triple point. face one way. They were forced to double face the other because they lost someone, and then it just became a 1v1 near the end. Excellently done. By SNHU there, Ty 
getting that final kill and the defuse for them. Do they even have the cash to buy up here? It looks like Rio Grande will because of their previous success, but kind of a mixed bag. We have Resonate you. They will try to force buy two Bulldogs, a Guardian with light armor on two of them as well. I think I might like this better. Where's that Where's that judge going to go? It looks like currently sitting over by three. Will it catch them out on the push? No one's really looking that way for them here as they're watching the long angles down mid once again. Suka really wants to push this good off the, the flash. Bang. One and he's out! Perfectly executed there. The pop flash. I'm guessing it was from Peachy. Came around the corner there. Perfect time to peek. Great communication. Great call outs there. And now, I mean, he's able to just get out completely for free. That was a robbery. Oh, and now wait. they're pushing up directly into the judge. judge. They're pushing That's up directly insane. into the judge right now. He still has one flash left. If he he reads this, the Prowler going out doesn't spot him. AS God is going to call that out, though, and will not be able to find any kills with the judge. So, so sad. But the rest of SNHU are going to start to rotate on over Mamra. The sole survivor on site finds one, gets traded out, though. Rio Grande, only three left. Low health for two of them. A Nightfall could come out, though, and could reveal a lot of information on where Snoo are, but a huge taunt is going to shut that down, and Rio Grande losing access to that Nightfall. They are stuck. They have no information. AS God, his position revealed. They know where he is. One tap, there's only one place he could be. He will be able to find one, but Ty finds the final kill to close out this game. SNHU. Wait. Yellow are going to be able. I don't know where the spike is. Okay. Oh. Okay. Woo. <laughs> There was, there was a moment where Godel threw out the Nightfall and they were kind of looking around and were just... Yeah, I was like, Do, am I not a knower? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they blinded me, they blinded me, get over there! We'll be able to close it out though. SNHU taking a set, you gotta feel good about that. Oh yeah, great way to kickstart the day considering there's still two games to go and how last week went. I think it shows... Lose a couple games, go back, study the tape, talk about it, review some stuff. Get wins like this. Absolutely. I gotta say, I love being in here when Valorant wins. This is our first Valorant win here on stream for this preseason. And just having, you know, there's like a million Valorant players here on campus, right? So when they're yeah. all in here and they're just <laughs> screaming, it's it's awesome. I absolutely love having Valorant here and seeing them do well. It's really, really great. Oh, yeah. It's almost always the, I guess, the most active game here, hearing the crowd roar. I mean, it reminds me. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting flashbacks to being to playing an ECC final. Yeah, right. People yelling about it, right? I wasn't able to be up here with you, but you and Fawn put on a great show. I remember hearing the crowd and you from there. I'm sure it's even though it's preseason, I can't even imagine how things are going to be once the season starts. But honestly, Godel, I think, was, was IGLing excellently that series. I felt like they were all, most of the time, I'm not going to say always, because Rio Grande had some really powerful rounds. Most of the time, they were a step ahead. Yeah, I mean, Godel's moved up from white last year, yes. didn't he? So what a fantastic move up there. Already doing a great job. You know, he's been up here on the desk a few times. Very, very, very great guy. Yes. So love to see, love to see him doing well. But we are going to throw it over to a brief intermission here. Yes. We'll be back. We'll, so we'll be taking a break for about an hour since yes. we had a forfeit on game yes, two. A forfeit from. Oh, this is the only college you didn't write the full name out. of. USC card. USC. That's what it said on the tweet. That's, That's what why it I didn't. <laughs> You're right. <I'm> a... <laughs> but yeah, we'll be we'll be gone for just a little bit. As I say. The vibe in the arena is great. So if you're on campus, take this little break time. Come down here to yes. the arena. Check it out. Get some more people packed in here because up next we've got Val Yellow versus Ithaca College Blue. Should be a lot of fun. We'll be back at 8 p.m. We'll see you then. Until.